Hello everyone, this video will explain on joint protection technique. First of all, let's look into what is joint protection technique. Joint protection technique is an active coping or self-management technique following the basic principle of body mechanic. Usually, joints that have been weakened by arthritis such as osteoarthritis are at least being damaged by stress and strain. Applying joint protection technique may reduce internal and external joint stress, pain and inflammation and also it preserves joint structure integrity during performance of daily activities. These techniques may benefit people with joint arthritis such as osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis and also benefit people with joint injuries as it supports the rehabilitation or healing process. Joint protection techniques promote 10 key principles of doing activities so that the risk of deformity is decreased. These 10 principles can be applied during daily activities, physical activity, during work-related tasks, during arthritis flare-up or when people experiencing joint pain or inflammation. Purpose of Intervention and Underpin Theory There are 5 purposes of this intervention. First, it reduces pain during activity and at rest. Second, it reduces force on joint of internal or external force that apply to joint while carrying out the activities. Third, it helps to preserve joint integrity and reduce risk of development of progression of deformities. Fourth, it helps to reduce fatigue. And lastly, it improves or maintain function of the joint. The health belief model under the theory of patient education is chosen for this intervention. This is because this model explains why patients may accept or reject preventative health services or adopt healthy behaviors. Social psychologists originally developed the health belief model to predict the likelihood of a person taking recommended preventative health action. This model explains that patients tend to change their behavior when they believe it is risky or threatening to continue the old behavior and the new behavior will be beneficial to them. They must feel that barriers to change do not outweigh the benefits and that they can realistically accomplish the needed changes in behaviour. The aims of the intervention is to educate patients on a new set of behaviour that is parallel to their impairment and practicing it in their daily life to improve overall quality of life. Let's introduce to 10 key principles of joint protection technique. Respect pain It is important to take notice of your pain and to use it as a warning sign to stop an activity. Stop an activity when you feel fatigue or discomfort before feeling pain. Avoid or do less activities that cause prolonged pain. Try and take a break before you get pain or discomfort rather than reaching this point before stopping. Maintain muscle strength and range of motion. Range of motion exercise help to maintain joint flexibility, mobility and strength. Performing range of motion exercises helps prevent joint stiffness and contractures which can occur when joints are not moved through their full range regularly. By actively moving the joints, patients can maintain and improve their joint function. Next is avoid position of deformity. The customary way of performing tasks may cause forces to be applied in directions of deformity. Using one hand when lifting a mug or cup can be painful to people with arthritis. Client can be encouraged to lift a mug or cup using both hands instead of one hand to avoid any deformity positions. Use each joint in its most stable, anatomic positions and functional plane. Not properly seated in an upright position for a long period can cause pain and stress to the joint as well as ligaments. Therapists can educate the client the correct way to maintain a good posture and proper work hikes when doing work or task. Next, ensure correct patterns of movements. Poor body posture during heavy lifting can significantly increase the risk of injury. It puts excessive strain on the muscles, ligaments and joints, making them more susceptible to sprain, strain and other musculoskeletal injuries. Proper body mechanics allow the use of body to become more efficiently and if the body moves well, it can minimize stress on the joint. Use the strongest joint available. We must avoid using small joints such as fingers because they are vulnerable to injury as they can easily strain, sprain or become damaged when subjected to excessive force or repetitive movements. Feet use larger joints. Stronger muscle protect large joints so it is better to use large joints where possible or try to spread the force over many joints. So, use both hands when lifting heavy objects to distribute weight between both hands. Avoid staying in one position for long periods. Prolonged static positions can lead to joint stiffness and muscle fatigue. 
positional stress is then transmitted to the joint ligaments, which may already be in a weakened state such as at knee joint. Taking frequent breaks in between the activities can avoid putting extra stress on the joint. Avoid starting an activity that cannot be stopped immediately if it becomes too stressful. Continuous tasks that cannot be stopped immediately will result sudden or severe pain to the joint to cause joint damage, severe fatigue, poor movement pattern and safety risks especially in the bathroom. The patient can keep a bath bench or a chair available in case she needs to rest while standing in the shower. Balance rest and activity Prolonged and continuous activity without rest lead to muscle fatigue and excessive pain to occur. Excessive or high impact activity can also put excessive stress on the joint leading to further joint damage. Plan and schedule breaks during long or difficult tasks. Try breaking down the longer activity into shorter time frame or where possible get someone else to do them. By resting 5 to 10 minutes during an activity will have more energy to continue. A balance between rest and activity helps preserve joint function and mobility while minimizing the risk of joint damage. Reduce force and effort. Excessive reaching and excessive load and heavy equipment can lead to produce more stress and pain to involve joints. Patients have to store oftenly used items at appropriate height and easy reach so that everything that the patient needs for the activity is there. These are the evidence-based for joint protection techniques. Thank you for watching!